love to glow up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys 10, probably a little bit more, highlighters that, that I am obsessed with. So these are my go-to highlighters, highlighters that I 100% recommend. They range from super blinding to very natural, everything in between. So I'm very excited to share some of my top favorites with you guys. So if you guys do like top favorite videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And then also don't forget to subscribe before you go if you do like what you see and without further ado let's go ahead and get started guys So first things first, I'm not going in any particular order. One thing with highlighters that I always really stay away from is really like glittery, chunky highlighters. I don't like those highlighters, so I actually don't have any really chunky highlighters that I'm going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So first one that I am going to talk about is the Rodeo Drive Highlighter from Ofra. So I just have a little baby version right over here. Here, I actually went through a whole highlighter of this. I love this highlighter. So this is again the color Rodeo Drive and look at how stunning this swatch is. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the highlighters for you guys and this is just so beautiful. So this is a nice champagne color. You're, you guys are gonna see a kind of theme in my highlighter. It looks a very, very blinding. This stays on such a long time. It is very, very pigmented. You can apply as much as you want and it's not going to emphasize any of your texture that you have going on. It's actually just going to like enhance your skin. It makes your skin just look very healthy, very wet. It, it's stunning. Like you guys can see, it is a blinding. Um, it's very easy to blend out. So if you don't want like a super intense highlighter, you can kind of blend it out a little bit, but it's very intense. It's not powdery. It just, it's very, very silky, very smooth. I love this. Next up, let's talk about Lunar Beauty. So I have two right here. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to show you guys. So these are my top two from Lunar Beauty that I wanted to share. So we have the shade Mercury. The second shade that I want to show you guys is the shade Venus. This one's definitely deeper, but it is just beautiful. I'm obsessed with this so the shade Venus is a nice medium gold sort of color even though I am more on the fair side right now it still looks stunning so let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys so we have the lighter shade which is the shade Mercury and then the deeper shade which is the shade Venus so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch both so here are the two shades swatched we have the shade Venus right on top and then Mercury at the bottom if Venus is too dark you could use it as an eyeshadow but I find it looks really really pretty on my skin tone it's not too dark and then the the Venus shade is not too light either but you guys could see they are blinding they are pigmented they are very smooth they're very creamy they are very buildable you can make it not as intense if you do just apply a little and buff it out one of my favorite brushes to use for highlight is actually this BH cosmetic stoop that I got on Amazon I will link it down below for you guys but it is a pressed powder it is not very powdery and it just provides your skin with like a wet look as you guys could see from the highlighters it just gives you such like a wet healthy like look I, I'm just obsessed like it is so beautiful next up let's talk about this so this is the elf times Nabella loose powder I love this it is so good um, it's very very affordable I think right now you can get it for three dollars this is I believe limited edition wish it wasn't but it still is available so if you can get your hands on it go grab it because it is amazing so I actually have this on today and you guys could see it looks very natural right here doesn't look very intense but then my nose I don't know why I've just been loving a really really highlighted nose but my nose is very very intense and it did not even take a lot of it so it is a loose highlighter but one thing that I do like about it is that there is a shifter in here so it's a very very easy to travel with you literally just need a tiny bit of it let me go ahead and swatch that is what the color looks like it is on my middle finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch 
You guys can probably see the type of colors that I like. I like very champagne-y colors. That is right here. This one has a undertone that is like a gold slash light undertone. It is a not yellow. It is a not glittery. It just looks so pretty. A little goes a long way. Like guys, I'm just going to show you guys like this is how much is in my little shifter right now. I don't even use that much when I'm doing it. Like I literally pretty much just use the top and that's even to get this super intense look. So you can build this up. You can make it very natural or very intense as you guys could see. It does not emphasize emphasize any of my texture. I have a little pimple right here and it is not emphasizing. It's not emphasizing any scars that I have right here and it stays on a really long time so it doesn't like rub off or anything like that. You will keep the blindingness going um, for as long as you have this on. So that's another thing that I really like. I also have a little bit on my chin and then a little bit on my forehead which I don't know if you guys are able to tell but very very natural which I really like. Larry beautifully on top of so many foundations and it doesn't look cakey and it's amazing and even though it's a loose powder I really really like this because even though it's loose it's not messy so I appreciate that next up I don't really know if this counts as a highlighter but I'm just gonna talk about this so this is the Neutrogena ultra sheer body mist this one has SPF 30 in it they do have more SPF and less SPF I just went with the 30. Um, I love this. So this I actually learned from Tati and Scott Barnes. I should have worn like a off the top shirt so you guys could really see how it looks. But this is beautiful. This gives you that JLo glow vibe that everybody wants. This is it. It is just so stunning. It looks good in photos. It looks good in videos. It just makes you look like you have like wet skin. And then one also amazing thing is that it has SPF in it so it protects the skin. But I'm going to just put some right here so you guys can see okay look at how stunning you guys could see the difference this it just makes my skin look very wet very luminous and very healthy it protects the skin it doesn't leave a sticky feeling my skin just looks very glowy very healthy it transferred a little bit on my hands but that's because I did rub it in a little bit but it looks really really beautiful there is a slight scent to it kind of like a sunscreen scent just not so intense but my skin just looks so healthy it does not look glittery or anything like that it just looks very dewy and very healthy which you know I appreciate so I really love this I love applying this on my chest and then just having like a nice glowy chest this is just so beautiful not sticky I'm just obsessed all right so next let's go on to the essence pure nude highlighter so that is this one right here I have mine in the shade 10 B my highlight and this one is actually a baked highlighter if you guys could see it does have a little domed look so I actually really really like this one so this you guys I don't even know if it's gonna pick up on camera but there we go yes it does so this is what it looks like this gives such a beautiful and natural highlight I'm going to apply it right here so this one does have a little bit of like a peachy ish undertone um, but it just looks stunning oh my gosh there is a little bit of blindingness going on right there but not so intense and it has a nice sheen to it there is no glitter it kind of just makes you look like you're glowing from within it just looks very very effortless just like you have that nice fresh healthy glowing skin from within and you're just like oh I just woke up with this stunning highlight like it is amazing if you want a nice natural highlight this is the way to go um, you can't really build it up I mean a tiny bit but when you apply it with a brush I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys I'll apply like a little on my chin when you apply it like you don't get like a pinky tone you just get such a nice healthy glow which is the most important and this actually reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill like dewy highlighter that's kind of similar to this I'll insert like a photo of it right here literally it is a spot-on dupe I have that highlighter um this just does the same exact effect so if you're somebody who likes the Jaclyn Hill highlighter you're going to love this because this just you could set your face with it you're not gonna get glittery or like anything like that it's just gonna be a very nice healthy glow so if you have dry skin you might really enjoy setting your face with this but I just like using it as a, as a nice and natural highlight I feel like it just looks 
it just looks stunning it looks so beautiful and definitely a favorite if you want a nice natural look next up we're gonna go in with the color pop flexitarian highlighter so this is the super shock cheek highlighter i love this so much oh my gosh so one thing about this is it does have a creamy consistency i wish you guys are going to be able to like feel it if you haven't but you guys could see like I'm dipping my finger in there and it's just very creamy it just looks so stunning so that is the swatch I know I dug my finger in there so I'll give you a little bit more of a realistic swatch but it still looks very intense like this is the one where I really wasn't pressing hard and this is the one where I was but it just gives such a beautiful highlight to the face so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch both because they look exactly the same like whether I really dug my finger in or not they both look very very blinding they both look very very wet not going to emphasize any texture I love the feeling of this you can apply this on powder and it's still going to apply very very beautifully one tip that I actually do have is when you do use this I would actually go in with your finger so I actually wouldn't go in with a brush like this I would just use my finger and then just like tap it out I kind of want to do it just like tap it out a little bit just to add a little bit more highlight and it's it's very intense and I didn't even tap a lot it's very intense it is just beautiful like and there really are not that many words for it it's just very beautiful very intense you literally only need a tiny bit of this because this is so so blinding I love the way it feels it's just like a really really cool high highlighter again flexitarian is like my favorite color and you can put this on, on top of other highlighters as well if you really want to just amp it up in certain spots. But it just looks stunning. It's beautiful. I love the color. Next highlighter that I want to talk about is the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder. So this they call an illuminating powder to set your face. I wouldn't set my face with this. Um, I feel like it gives a nice highlighted look. So I wouldn't. I broke it. But um, I actually just use this as a regular highlight. So you guys could see it does have the same exact sort of consistency as the ColourPop one like that very creamy texture Let's see I'll do a light little swatch so we have the intense swatch here and then the lighter swatch here but it is just stunning like again it does have that creamy consistency but it's not going to leave your face feeling tacky or anything like that so this one may be harder to see so I have the intense one at the bottom. Again, I don't really think you're gonna be able to see it that much because it's very, very natural. It is a natural highlight. I love, again, using this when I want that globe from within. Again, it's more of a, this is supposed to be a finishing powder, but because it just has like that little bit of shine for me, wouldn't really use it as a finishing powder because I am oily. Maybe if you are on the dry side, you might use it as a finishing powder, but I feel like even then it's just a little bit too, too much of a sheen for me. If you want a finishing powder, I have to go with the essence. This gives you like a glass like glow. When I apply it, like it just makes my skin look like glass. It makes my skin just look amazing. I want to see if I can show you guys like the true color because I feel like there we go. All right. There we go. Ha. Showed you guys the true color now. Okay. So I wanted you guys to see it on camera and it was not really picking up that hard, but, but this is the like true color of it. It just gives you that glass like appearance to your skin. It looks beautiful. It's a very creamy feel. It's very soft and it just gives you such like a light glow. This one is a little bit more intense if you do this compared to the Pure Nude. So if you're somebody that likes a lighter highlight but a little bit more intense than the Pure Nude, you're gonna really, really love this. This one you can definitely build up to get intense, but you really gotta get your finger right up in there. Truthfully, I didn't think the camera's gonna be able to pick this up, but this is just so beautiful, so stunning, and again, not glittery, not sheeny. It's just a very nice, pretty champagne color. You guys could probably tell I love my champagne champagne highlight colors. Next up, we're going to be talking about the e.l.f. oil. I am obsessed with this. This is from the Retro Paradise collection. This is limited edition, but if you can go ahead and grab it, I would definitely grab it. This one is in the shade Sunkissed. I do have a deeper shade if you guys are interested, but um, again, I should have worn an off-the-shoulder top. Like, So I'm just going to go ahead 
put it on the back of this hand so you guys could see it is like runny but it is just so beautiful i probably should have grabbed a brush with this all right i'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger and show you guys okay so it is a lot so this would probably cover like my whole entire arm but this is just stunning it just gives your skin such a wet glassy look there is no shimmer in here so you're not going to be glittery which I like it dries down so you're not going to be very tacky truthfully I like this a little bit better than the Fenty one Fenty one I felt like it was a little bit more on the tacky side this is not has a little bit of a scent but it's again nothing too powerful a little bit sweet but it just gives you that nice wet look it dries it very very fast and it's just it's like a perfect wet look if you're somebody that wants a, a nice gleaming look for or your body definitely go with this or the Neutrogena both are perfect it's gonna be one big disco ball today I feel it next up let's talk about this so this one is actually a newer find for me but I am so obsessed this is the Jouer Citrine highlighter so this one is definitely more of a powdery highlight but it is so beautiful that I do not even mind this is a shimmering gold sort of highlighter so it is a little bit more pressed than the rest as far as texture wise this one is a very very blinding like if you want a blinding highlight this is it again it is a nice shimmering gold color it's very very blinding it's very buttery it melts into the skin and even though it's so intense it's not going to emphasize any of the texture that you have going on I've used this so many times I'm obsessed with this it is a very very long lasting it's not glittery it is not chunky and it is powdery but it's pigmented that I don't mind that it's powdery like I don't even mind because it's just it just gives such a beautiful wet look to the skin it's very very reflective very very pigmented and it is just amazing so I love this next up another blinding highlight that I have to mention is the Juvia's Place this is the um, Tribe Highlighter of Volume 3 by Juvia's Place and y'all this is so stunning oh my gosh this you literally only need a little bit of it a little bit does go a long way this one has a little bit of kickback just nothing insane this is the color it's a very very like blinding look at that it is so so blinding this one is a champagne color as well I just feel like all of mine are all champagne I just love champagne highlights but it is a champagne color this one is definitely more blinding definitely more pigmented I feel like with this when I did that swipe you could see less of my skin underneath than like the Jouer one the Jouer one I feel like you saw a little bit of my skin this one is just so pigmented one swipe and I feel like you really can't see underneath as much it's just so so pigmented and it just gives your skin such a nice wet look you, again you only need a little bit of this so don't go overboard and with that little bit you get a blinding highlight so if you want a full-on blinding highlight get this or the Jouer one the rest of the highlights that I did mention minus the essence one you could definitely build up or make it very very natural this and the Jouer one they're just very intense off the bat so yeah this is very intense very beautiful and I love it the yeah, melt cosmetics this is the gold or high gold or highlighter and this one is a very very gold as you guys can see but it is so beautiful it's not as intense when you go ahead and swatch it this is what it looks like and to go ahead and swatch it the look I feel like all the highlighters are so reflective off of the ring light that it's gonna be a little hard to see but this is stunning so it's a very very easy to blend it's a very very easy to build it's very easy to get a nice soft highlight but you can also definitely build this up and it doesn't emphasize any of the texture that I have on my skin it is not powdery and the color this one is definitely more on the gold side but it still looks really really good on my skin tone or a little bit more fair than me this would be really good as a eyeshadow or something like that this is like a gold golden sunset sort of color it is just stunning you could definitely build it up you could definitely make it lighter but it is just so beautiful next we're going to be talking about the milk lit highlighter this is in the shade flex so this is what the color looks like this one is a little bit more powdery than the melt one that I just talked about but I don't even mind you guys could see I have a pretty good indent right there so this is what the highlight looks like it looks very very blinding right off the bat it looks very very wet right off the bat and this 
is another champagne highlighter. I love my champagne highlighters, but this is just so silky. It just glides on your skin. It doesn't emphasize any texture. I love the feeling of it. It just feels very, very smooth on your fingertips, on your face. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, so it does hydrate your skin and it just gives such a gleaming look to your face your face just looks very very healthy whenever you use this and it's not cakey you can apply as much as this as you want not gonna look like cake face not gonna look like you have too much powder on your face a lot of people say that this is like a um, glittery highlight but i literally do not see any glitter when i use this my face does not get glittery my face is not glittery it's just very beaming and it just looks stunning if i missed a highlighter definitely leave me a comment down below i would love to see your favorite highlighters down below so definitely let me know and if you guys did like this video and you do like these sort of top videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go if you did like what you see i do upload three times a week i upload every monday wednesday and friday so if you guys are interested and you want to join that atfb fam then definitely subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads i love all of these highlighters i love to glow that is just how i am i love like the beaming highlights sometimes i do like those natural highlights for those very natural makeup days but a majority of the time i just love to glow so i hope that you guys are doing well and that you guys are safe and i will see you guys in a few days in my next video bye